What up, Body Bags, BDG Reviews here. We're back again with another label week. And uh, this week, it's the mighty Troma. <laughs> Everyone knows Troma films. Even if you don't know exactly who they are, you know the Toxic Avenger. You know, you, you know what you're getting into with a Troma film. So I'm reviewing Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, backstory on my relationship to this movie. Uh, many years ago, this came out in... Uh, what year did this come out in, anyway? Uh, it's like 2010, I think. Um, it's sufficient to say a long time ago. Let's put, let's put it this way. Uh, PlayStation 3 was still the top PlayStation console at the time. PlayStation 4 hadn't come out yet or anything. So, I'm on my PlayStation 3 at the time. Um, uh, they I don't know whether they still do, but they had a whole bunch of stuff on PlayStation Network. They had a bunch of movies that you could get for, like, a buck. You know, there, there were literally tons of them. You know, a lot of trauma stuff, a lot of, like low budget stuff. So, you know, I, I got I'd got like a gift card or whatever for PlayStation Network. And uh I'm just looking through all these different movies and I see Poultry Guys, Night of the Chicken Dead, and I'm like, you know what? It's a buck. I'ma give that a shot. So I bought it then. I watched the movie that night. I finished the movie. I got on the internet and I bought the DVD. And then about, you know, uh, the DVD came. I watched it. I finished watching the DVD. I got on the internet again. I bought the Blu-ray. Uh, so, yeah, I've bought this movie three times. This movie is awesome. You know what you're getting when you get a trauma movie. You know it's not going to be totally serious, you know it's gonna, gonna be a lot of humor in it, you know there's gonna be a lot of gross out humor, and this does not disappoint at all basic plot of this is you have like a fast food restaurant, it's it's basically KFC, let's be honest but you know, it's like um the restaurant was a, built on a Native American burial ground <laughs> so, you can kinda guess where this is going um Think of it this way. This movie is a mix between Poltergeist, Night of the Living Dead, Grease, and, like, the Toxic Avenger. Because you have, you have musical numbers in this. And it, they, they kind of work, honestly. Um, it's just such a fun movie. I'm not going to get any more into the plot, because, I mean, it's a trauma film. You, Like I said, you know what you're getting. You know, you know you're going to have Tromaville. You know you're going to have, like, that car that flips over. It's in every trauma movie, you know. What's neat about this movie is, honestly, the effects are pretty decent. I mean, they're better than you would expect for a movie called Poultrygeist. You know, and uh, it was actually directed by Lloyd Kaufman, so, you know... That kind of tells you something right there. You know, it's it's by the guy that actually runs Troma is the one that directed it. Um, all in all, it's, it's, it's a damn fun movie. If you're in the mood for, like, a horror comedy, you know, and you want something that will... Li <laughs> Let's put it this way. It, it's, I'm going to say it's lowbrow humor, but, you know... Everyone knows every now and then you need a bit of lowbrow humor just to have some fun, you know. There's a scene with a dude on the toilet. Just, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving it at that. Yeah, if you want a good laugh, like if you want to, like, like literally holding your stomach laughing, check out Poultrygeist. Because it's, it's just, it's so good. It really is. Um... What else can I say about it? Well, you know what? I'll, I'll do this. Movie itself, 10 out of 10. Blu-ray, 
complete 10 out of 10 things l like loaded with features and everything. Um, yeah. But now, as I usually do on these particular reviews, I'm going to talk more about the company than the movie itself. That movie's a masterpiece. Troma have a... I'll just be honest, they have a lot of crap. Um, but there's a charm even to the worst trauma movie because you get this feeling when you're watching it that these aren't people doing this to make money. These are people doing this to, like, have a good time, make a movie. You know, sure, there is the you know, the money aspect to it, of course, you know, it, it's, it's a given, but this is also a company that puts all their movies out, like, on YouTube, and, like, on, like, free streaming services and everything, so it's more about the art than it is the bills, I guess you could say. Now, that being said, you know, are you gonna get, like, a high art movie from, from Troma? Mm, probably not. They, they might have one or two, you know. But for the most part, you're going to get a cheesy, fun, funny, you know, blood-drenched, just shitstorm of awesomeness. And that's what you get from Troma. They're one of the few companies, I think, that you can honestly say... Like, if you say to someone... Hey, we're watching a trauma film. You know, if if you're a trauma fan, you'll be like, okay, I'm down. Don't even have to know what movie it is. You just got to know it's trauma. We're going for it. Um, there's a few companies like that. You know, I'll, some of them not so good. Some pretty good, honestly. Uh, some very bad. Uh, looking at you, the asylum. But you know, uh, even even them have a few few good things every now and then. But trauma, there's a definite feeling of nobody's writing it in. Everyone, I think, is trying to make the best film they can make. Does it always work? Not necessarily. But that again, like I said, that's part of the charm. So yeah. There's my review. Poultry Guys, Night of the Chicken Dead. One of the only movies I've bought three times within watching each time I bought the next, uh, like an upgrade, you know. So there you go. 10 out of 10, really great movie. This movie is a classic. If you've never seen Poultry Guys, do yourself a favor. Um, get drunk and put this on. It will change your life. Just saying. So yeah, that's it for me. See you next time.